was. What? Hello, three. I thought. Ooh, ooh. Twelve o'clock. No, it definitely wasn't at twelve. Either way, three. Josie, you're kind of on my, on my wire. You can stay there. I forgive you. Hi. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Nobody Enjoys You podcast. Oh. Oh. The most mentally stable podcast on the internet. What's under your seat? Can you grab that? It's a little receipt or something. Um. Oh, it's just Justine's Goodwill seat uh, receipt. She bought uh, 7.3 pounds of uh, used underwear. You know what's fucking beat? Um, I mean, they've been saying this since like the fucking 90s, but I, f- I feel maybe it's our location in Los Angeles. Uh, thrift stores are all picked fucking dry. Everybody thrifts now. It's not even just hipsters. Yeah. The most mainstream of mainstream yuppies. <laughs> I fucking well hitting the thrift. The thrift, the places that aren't picked dry are the places that just have so much stuff, and you have to like really fucking want to be there. But like, there's no wa- there's no walking into a thrift store and just finding something cool right off the bat that's like a reasonable price. No, because it's like everybody, like you said, everybody does it. So those sorts of places are always all picked dry, and also places like Buffalo Exchange or well, they might be a little bit cheaper. But those, I don't really shop at those because they're they're like yeah they're like not thrift stores they're like vintage stores they're like dumb expensive yeah Buffalo Exchange is not too bad but like they're buying clothes from people so they just put it back up to regular like retail prices a lot of yeah. the time and it's like it's okay fuck this like you can get like a cheap pair of used shoes there like you can. some like yeah but like you know for the most part you're like I'm really on it. my fucking. Shit here. Sorry, my dog's doing her thing. Um, all right. Uh, you know what else? I, I just got some jeans though, some nice jeans for like twenty dollars a pair the other day at uh Sunday's Best. Sunday's Best I like because they have a wide range of prices. Like I found a pair. Is that of like a chain place? No, like Buffalo Exchange or no. No? no? It's just that one spot on Sunset in Echo Park, mm. and I like it there because. Did I find a pair of vintage Levi's for $140? This is the second or third time we've worn these exact hats. You wear the Phillies and me wearing the Dodgers. Anyway, continue. Yes, I did find a $140 pair of Levi's there. But did I also find a $20 pair of Wranglers? Wait, wait. They yes. were selling them for $120? No. Yeah. Yeah. Of Le- Levi's, you said? $140. Levi's? Yes. The jeans? Yeah. $100. And twenty U.S. dollars? Are forty, you sure? hundred and forty U.S. dollars. Yes, not. Pesos. Can you even buy brand new? Do they even sell jeans like new Levi's? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they sell for new a, jeans for like ninety. I don't know if they make a hundred and forty dollar pair of jeans brand new. But what the fuck the, is so cool about them? It's just the fucking. They were like Levi's five hundred one orange tab, which are like more rare. It's it's when you get into the shit that you don't care about. The so. hype beast stuff, like the brand stuff. Kind of. It's not like hype beasty because it's like Levi's and everybody wears Levi's. But like, yeah, it's like the orange, the orange tab ones are more rare. And it's like what color the stitching is and all that shit. It's like it's the same oh. fucking shit, but it's like it's different. It's from a specific year. You it's mean very the dumb old. stuff? The stuff that's stupid. In your opinion? Yes. In your opinion, too. Yeah, for the most part. I would never buy those. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. $140 for jeans? Yeah. However, see, Sunday's best now. Like, I found a pair of Levi's there a while back that I got for $8, and it was fucking sick. And since then, now, every single pair of Levi's in there is at least 50 bucks, which I don't fuck with. I feel like a nerd wearing these socks with these sandals. Yeah, I mean, you kind of look like a nerd, but it's okay. All right. (laughs) All right. But you're fine. <laughs> you know, Justine's been making fun of me. At least I they're we- not inside out. Justine's been making fun of me. Yeah, I wear my socks inside out a lot. For, and for wearing match. my fucking socks, like, up my leg. She, say, she told me I look like a dork. <laughs> <laughs> so before we went out, she goes, hey, pull those down. I was like, why? She's like, you look like a dork. <laughs> it's fucking rude. Yeah. Uh, you know what else? I was thinking about this the other day. Obviously, we were talking about, like, thrift stores and stuff like that with generational whatever like it's not even generational or just like a culture or culture our current culture 
um, thrift stores and stuff like that are very mainstream. It's no longer just like hipsters. I was thinking about um, like maybe it's just our circle of people because we're just like whatever. I feel like a lot of people are really obsessed with, you know, cold plunges and saunas to the point where it's a cliche and almost. Yeah. You know, definitely. When something becomes a cliche, it's obviously. Yeah. Been in and out of the zeitgeist enough. Sure. You could say it's culturally significant. Yeah. And I find it very interesting that that's these like health things. Like I'm seeing a lot of people talk about bone broth. And I mean, I even fucking bought some. Like everyone's obsessed with bone broth. As they should be. And like, I there's so many, ev- all, our generation and, and the current culture is so obsessed with, um, with like health, but not even, it's not even like health. Can What are you doing to your fucking face I'm, right I'm now? My head hurts. I think I'm getting a migraine. I'm like just pinching my, my no. thing. Um, Sorry. Health, we're so, but it's, it's not real health. It's not. It's, it's not, not grassroots health. It's not like health because these people, like myself included, I'm like drinking a bottle of tequila and then waking up and going in a cold plunge. So it's not health. But what I've noticed is like, it's like productivity hacks. You yeah. know, and hacks is really the the key word. Hacks, shortcuts. And I got a little upset because, um. I realized that I like cold plunges and saunas and stuff like that. And I think, like, finance bros like them, too. Yeah. And I got really upset. Why? Because I didn't want to... I didn't want to... I want to be the opposite of that. Oh, well, you're not. I know. (laughs) I'm not. But, like... I bet they love bone broth, too. I bet they fucking do. Kettle and fire, dude. Yeah, you gotta have a start with it with kettle and fire. Isn't that the expensive stuff? Yeah, it's dumb expensive. But Trader Joe's has the same one for it's literally if you read the ingredients, it's the same exact fucking shit. But uh two dollars instead of eight. I'm so sick. Are you still sick? Yeah, kinda. I have the worst stomach pain I've ever had in my entire life today. Right now, currently? It's piercing. You know Did you I have th- any Takis? I didn't have any Takis. It's not like Takis. Takis are like it's like hot. This isn't hot. It feels like I accidentally swallowed a knife. That is a similar sensation to what you described. I did say nails in my stomach, um, but it's hot. the other one is hot nails. Hot this nails? This is like, this is less nails, more like a uh, screwdriver. You, s- you s- swallowed a surgical tool of some sort. It's clean slicing of your abdomen from the inside out. Um, yeah. No, it's really bad. It's like right in the top of my stomach. Owie. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, the obsession with health um, and cold plunges and stuff like that, how it's like productivity hack. I wrote something down about it. It's, um, I found it interesting that as Americans or as a society, whatever, you know, it's all focused on productivity. It's still kind of competition. It's a very uh, – this is going to sound fucking lame, but, like, it's a very capitalism. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. A competitive yeah. uh, thing, which, in, in in essence, focusing on your own health doesn't seem like it would align with, like, competitiveness and, like, capitalism and stuff like that, but the way that – our culture is obsessed with it. It's like you're in competition with your own like biology, trying to hack your fucking yeah. biology, how to not be tired. Well, everything to, is about like how to get ahead. Yeah. You know, so much of, I'm not saying I don't uh, like, like that or anything. It's like, I'm all for it. Like if you, I feel way better in the morning when I fucking get a bunch of sunlight and like, Sure, maybe make me more "quote unquote" productive. I hate that fucking word; so so overused. But it still it feels good. Anyway, continue. I gotta do that sunlight shit. What do you do? Do you close your eyes? No, you just go outside. Oh, just go I thought outside. You were saying you have to go and look at the light, and I was like, How "Well, the you're fuck not do you staring do at the sun, but uh, gotta get." Like, I've heard about people like closing their eyes and like 
looking up at the sun through their like closed eyes as like a thing that they do. I don't know if that's but didn't you say that there's something with like your deep fucking eyes eye retina yeah, things? Yeah, it's, it's uh gotta get those photons in there or some shit. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Basically, like sun particles. This is this is a fucking moron's version of what this is. Your brain, in order to fully wake up, you need uh, for your body to really sense that you're awake, it needs to be warmed up and you need light in your brain. But the I think the sensors or like the part of your eye that is like, oh, there's enough light. It's morning time. It's time to get up is very deep in the back of your eyes. Gotcha. So you can't just like look at whatever. You're like, oh, I'm up. Because then, like, every time there would be a little bit of light in your room, maybe you would be more sensitive to it because you're super sensitive to light. Like, I can sleep with the lights on. Or the same reason you can, like, you know, you could sleep, like, in the on the beach or something probably. So I you can know. sleep on the beach. Can you not fall asleep on the beach? If you, like, you know what? Down I, I think I'm starting to equate a lot of extra things into this theory. I think I don't, I don't think these retinal sensors... David's completely taking a shut lot, down David's your taking a lot of liberties with hard science here. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so hey, basically, it's hard to get those. Gotta get those photons deep. Yeah, get those deep them. photons. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta go. Gotta look at the sun a lot, in like for like ten minutes. Like within the first, I think it's like within the first half hour of waking up, you need a good ten minutes of sunlight, and also it's good to move, like move your body. Yeah. So yeah, every morning I walk out my back door and I. And I have a back door in my bedroom uh, that goes out to our backyard with our fucking pool. Get fucked. Fuck you guys. Um, And it's <laughs> warm out there. And the sun hits me. And I stretch. And I just kind of like walk around. And like Essentially, we have luxurious, beautiful lives. And all of you do not. So ha 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 ha. Subscribe. Subscribe <laughs> so we can pay rent. Um <laughs> Yeah, so you do. I've been doing that, and it's fucking great. It's fucking great. Uh, but yeah, back to the whole like competition thing. It's like hacking, so you can like hacking your biology. Yeah. To get ahead. Yeah. You know, it's just well, it's just it interesting. It just feels like it's not a lot of people are are interested in just like doing things the n- normal thorough way. Of like, if you want to get healthier, you just need to be healthier all the time. And you have to actively make that choice all the time. People just want to be like, oh, if I drink bone broth every morning, I will get healthier. Well, I think so, I think uh, some people Absolutely. understand I, that you have to do it all. And I think I think majority of people go, well, I mean, supplementing your shitty lifestyle with a couple cold plunges isn't bad. No. Like me. That's true. Like, I'm a fucking... I eat Takis and drink beer all the fucking time. Not but all the time. I cut you're them. healthier than you're making yourself appear to be. It's for the bit, Carl. It's for the bit. It's for the bit. It's for Sorry. The bit. You're a piece of shit, dude. Thank you. He's Thank drunk, you. drunk right now. And he had so many Takis <laughs> this weekend. Uh, he can't help himself. The only way yeah. he helps himself is with bone broth and cold plunges. I do like The bone broth is good. It's good. It's tasty. I just don't know. It seems backwards to what I've... Uh, what are the benefits of bone broth? No fucking idea. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone, I don't know. Someone just told me that it's good for you or some shit. Nice. And uh, is it salty? Gut uh, health. Justine's screaming gut health. I think gut health. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, I know there's protein in it. I know it's like a low cap. I, I think it tastes fucking good. Yeah. Joint she health. Said, oh, joints. It's good for your joints. Immune system, she says. Sleep, sleep quality, quality skin, skin health, health stronger, stronger bones healthy hair she says Electrolytes. she says electrolytes that's just salt people do say that you're supposed to drink a little bit of salt water in the in the morning i know the bone broth has like that and then a little bit of protein although i'm a big fan of intermittent fasting because i personally feel better when i don't eat anything until one o'clock in the afternoon which sounds strange but it's true um so, but it goes, kind of goes against that. Would love, love, love to eat three meals a day consistently. You could. You could. Don't tell me you could. I wouldn't be able to ever eat like a whole breakfast, but I definitely could eat more. You could eat I a could granola eat bar. Yeah. Well, right. I don't believe you need breakfast. I think you could eat two meals a day. 
You don't believe me, Carl Williams, needs to eat three times no, a day? No, I, I don't believe humans need to eat three times a day. Yeah, Bre- I, you know I as guess. well as I do, breakfast is fake. Yeah, but I like it. I know you <laughs> fucking like it. I don't care if it's fake. You like bacon sausage. You know, one time I tried to do the keto diet, and I went to Aunt Judy's. Uh-huh. It's a fucking little diner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the waitress, <laughs> I was doing keto, and I guess whatever. I was like... I'll have no toast, but I'll have double bacon. And she goes, are you doing the keto diet? And I go, yeah. She goes, that's not how that works. And she only gave me one side of bacon. Like, she just, like, <laughs> mommed me. She's like, no, you're not. Like, she was, like, an older woman. That's funny. She's like, you're not having two things of bacon. <laughs> she just didn't give me what I ordered. That's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, that's unhealthy. You're not doing that. Uh, what a lady. Yeah, what a lady. Do you All know, right. was it Aunt Judy? Is Aunt Judy a real person? Yeah. Maybe it was Aunt Judy. I don't know. I assume... No, she wasn't like... Aunt Judy's a fucking... Aunt Judy's has been around a long time, so I don't know. Aunt Judy's a little bit of a bitch. Is she? A little bit. Yeah. What if she's a fan of the pod? Well, as I got older, she became less of a bitch. I think she was just sick of it whenever somebody younger than fucking 20 years old ever came in. You know what I mean? I would not. I don't enjoy when... Yeah. 19 year olds come into my restaurant Yeah right so fuck them Yeah I, okay. When I say fuck them I guess I mean me as an adolescent So Maybe Aunt Judy's not a bitch I yeah. apologize She's just a yeah. restaurant owner that doesn't like Children children in her yeah. thing Alright um, Oops I just got a um, oh, Sorry Do you have a music suggestion? Do I have a m- Yeah I got some music suggestions Woohoo Let David got a new phone ladies and gentlemen He can listen to music I a little bit more. already recommended this, but I can't recommend it enough. If you haven't listened to Madison Cunningham's record, Who Are You Now? Specifically, one more song that I liked um, was Common Language. Please check it out. It's very good. Um, ooh, yeah. This song called Neptune by The Thing. They are a band out of New York City. They're a smaller band. Only 30,000 monthly listeners. Um, Neptune. It's off their 2024 record called The Thing Is. Uh, it's, I'll give you a little sneak peek, but not enough to get a copyright strike. A little rock and roll there. A little rock and roll. Um... And then also this uh, song called I See Myself I Have Saved by Geese. Not Goose, the fucking jam band. By Geese. Geese is sick. You like Geese? Oh, yeah. Lots of, lots of aux percussion. Um, some really upfront and intimate vocals right there. The song 2122 by Geese. It's fucking sick. Twenty one, twenty two. You like that one? Yeah. Oh, this is geese. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that song. I know that one. Three D Country is the album. It's fucking sick. Oh, geese is also from New York, or maybe the thing. I think they're also from New York. Maybe make sure I didn't mix those two up. My music suggestion is a pop star. Her name is Thuy, I think is how you pronounce it. Thuy! T-H-U-Y. The U's got a little fucking accent mark above it. Uh, is it the two dots? No, it's not the two dots. It looks like a... I don't, I don't know what that is. It's something. Whoa. Uh, I don't know what that is either. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, she has a new single. It's called Cloud Eleven, and our friends Keegan and Josh did the music video for it. They directed and filmed it, and it's a fucking banging music video, and the song is a bop. Just classic pop bop. Catchy. Cool. Nice. Shout out to Keegan and Josh. Shout out. Shout out to Keegan and Josh. They're good at what they do. Um... All right, let's get into it. Today's topic, what do you want for Christmas? It's <laughs> September. You guys know how I feel. Christmas is here. Uh, what do you want for Christmas, Carl? Um, 
You know, I'll tell you what I want. Sure. I would like an olive colored, olive worn is what it's called. They're not that expensive, so if someone wants to buy me one, olive worn uh, Epiphone Casino. It's a guitar. It's fully hollow body. It's very nice. It's got the dog ear P90 pickups on it. I, you can send it to me if you want. How much do they uh, cost? Dude, 500 bucks. Yeah, easy. I know all of you make $500 at least. At least $500 a month. So David deserves it. Yeah. He's been a good boy. I've been great. Do you think you would, do you think if there was a real naughty and nice list, you would be on the nice list? Yeah. What if it, what would the criteria be? What could get you on the naughty list? Um, general nice slash naughty behavior. <laughs> I don't Whatever, naughty. Never mind. Naughty behavior would be like, like how many yellow lights do you run? <laughs> or, yellow lights, or maybe just red lights. Like if it's like yellow and you're like, I'm going for it. How often are you hitting that? Was it re- turn red halfway through? Where I can see it turn red. Yeah. Um, on Sherman Way, <laughs> when I'm coming home from work, every often, single time, often. Have you ever hit red before you cross that line, and you still like nah, zipped? No, not unless not unless it was a fucking. I ha- I've noticed that I was like, oh shit, that light's red because I'm like behind a truck and I just go and I don't realize that the light's even turning at all. What you go? Oh, that like, light is the, red, and I'm I'm just gonna keep going. Like, everybody's going still because they're running the yellow. And I'm uh, behind like a truck and I didn't see it, like a big 18 wheeler. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I go and I'm like, oh, oops. I think that that's naughty list behavior. That's naughty list behavior for sure. Yeah. All right. But what do you want for Christmas? Um, hmm. I don't know. Do you think you'll get a dog? Nah. I got to, I got to tighten, tighten the budget. No dogs. No dogs for you? Give me like six months to a year. Maybe I'll change my mind. But yeah, no dogs yet. I love owning a dog. It's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. I don't suggest it for everybody. I don't. I Yeah. No, nah, not not for a little while, for sure. But All right. What about... Let me think. What would I get Carl for Christmas? I would get Carl... I'm trying to think of something funny for the bit, but I really... I want just like artwork and more plants. More plants. I saw a plant for fucking on say on Facebook Marketplace, and I was first I was like, "That's fucking stupid." But then I looked at it. It was like one of those, uh, like the vine plants. Yeah, but it those. like grew so long. Yeah, it was like a I solid. Showed you, like, I showed you one a while ago. It was like eight feet long. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And it was like very cool, it very was fun. like fifteen dollars, and I was like, "I'll go pick that shit up right now." And they yeah. never answered. We used to have one here, but it died. Um, you can see it. Look, it's right here. Oh, uh, that one's dead. That I one's was dead as fuck. We used to have a plant right to my left, and it was big leaves. I like big leaved indoor plants. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan of indoor plants. I'm not good at keeping them because pla- I always forget to water them where they don't get enough sunlight. More plants. Uh, artwork. Uh, probably like. Uh, I don't know the Echo Master. Yeah, that's something that I would like as a present. That'd be cool. I love that thing. I Death by Audio, Echo Master. It's like a delay pedal, but for vocals. I could, yeah. Um, I don't. I think that's a cool toy to have. Yeah. I think I would also like artwork, but more than that, I think I want to try to start painting. I want to try to paint some stuff. Yeah. Jackson Pollock style. Oh, sick! Fuck yeah. You should. That'd be like fun. Splatter paint. Yeah. Maybe fingy paint. Maybe you should make a TikTok of you like hanging like an acrobat and like dumping buckets of paint on a big canvas I and then selling the paintings for like ninety thousand dollars. I do like those TikToks. Yeah. Like where they like poke a hole in a and in a thing spin and they it spin and it. And then, yeah. I find it kind of dumb. Well, I saw a guy. But I uh, I do I enjoy them. I saw a guy reacting to one and he goes, "I don't hate all of these things, but I hate." A lot of these people, because a lot of people just do one color and call it a day, and it, yeah. anybody can fucking poke a hole in one bucket of paint in one color. Yeah, some so of when them you are get really into 
interacting with different colors and how they relate to each other where it becomes a little bit more of like, okay, you're making artistic decisions. But if you take a blank canvas and you just splatter red paint all over it, you're not fucking doing anything. Well, I think the first guy who did it, who was like, I'm going to hang something and do that. That guy was sick. But then once it went viral on TikTok and then everybody started doing it, then it's no longer artistic choices. You're just copying. Yeah. Which isn't artistic to me if you're just copying. Yeah. You like you said, you have to add other elements to make your own. That there's, make it your own. Make it your own voice. There's one guy who has a setup where like he does like he's he has thing. It's not just like one axis in which like a bucket is swinging. He also hangs like the canvas from three different spots on the canvas and then swings that. And I that, saw that like, moves in a weird way and then the bucket like rotates and also like swings and it it's just like. I did this the other There's, day. He has different axes, axes of movement, and that's fucking cool because then it gets very geometric and crazy looking. I did it the other day, and I think I'm going to continue to do it. I made, I tried to make a duck out of some like stuff in our side yard. I found a piece of wood, and I found uh, like hedge clippers that I took apart, um, and I have some materials that I think could, I could make look like a fish. And I think I'm going to continue to do that. I think I'm going to fill my house with a bunch of ridiculous things that I like to make. I would nice. love to... You've got to get into welding. I was going to say, I would <laughs> love to learn how to weld. Or at least, like, maybe I could make a, something out of spoons. Because spoons are easily bent and manipulated. Yeah. Maybe I could do that. Make I make a spoon, man. I would love to see you make a it, yeah, I dude. I want to get you welding qu- equipment like next weekend if we can. That's what you need. <laughs> it's for Christmas. I could probably just hot glue spoons. Well, yeah, but it's cooler if they're all. You're welded. right. It's so much cooler. It's cooler. You I could, could solder. You could solder the spoons together. It'd take a lot longer, but you could. I. That, why would it take a lot longer? Well, welding, you would literally just be like, and they're like stuck together forever. I'm oh, sure really? soldering is a little bit more fragile. What's the one where you got to put the thing? Well, you like have a little like that soldering, right? Where you have like extra. Yeah, there's metal. also types of welding that are like that too, where you like put up. A piece All I know is about is JB it. Weld. Um, I think that's what it's called. As I held my first car together. Anyway, uh, we got to get going because uh, I got to go to work and we're out of time. Uh, comment below what you want for Christmas or um. What you want me to see? Make uh, out of spoons. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, y'all. Goodbye, everybody.